In this video, I'll show you the relationship between GDP, life expectancy, and population. So as you see for the most part in 2008 in this graph here, countries with a larger population like China here also have a higher GDP. But smaller population countries like Canada and Brazil here have a higher life expectancy. Now let's go back and look at this relationship over 30 years. So, if in the beginning of the data, in 1978, it slightly shows that the higher GDP, the higher the life expectancy is. Like here, here, here. But there's no correlation between the population. Like China here is a huge population, but has a very low GDP and a relatively low life expectancy. But now let's fast forward 15 years to 1993. Now it seems that the larger countries have a larger GDP. Here in China, Mexico, they have a larger GDP than the others. They have also increased in life expectancy. As China used to be down here, it has gone up a little bit. Now, let's fast forward to the end of our data in 2008. So here, in the most recent data in 2008, we see the countries with a higher population here in China have a higher GDP. Also, countries with a larger population have lower life expectancy. Here in China, over here, right here have lower life expectancies in these smaller countries up above them. And to my surprise this means that the countries with a higher GDP have a lower life expectancy. China here with a higher GDP has a lower life expectancy than say Canada who has a much lower GDP. Because you'd think that since GDP is higher that they'd be able to have a higher life expectancy since they're making more output and making more money. Except there's also, uh, to all data, there's outliers like here, in our case, is Cameroon right here. From this graph of data, over the 30 years, we see these relationships in that some countries thrive while others did not. So, for instance, if we go to automate our data here, we see that China, in 1978, when you watch from the beginning, has their GDP grew drastically. Well, Cameroon had little change. We'll show you that here. So here's China. Their GDP just keeps going up and up and up. Cameroon here is actually decreasing. And then it goes up back to about the same. But China just grew out way out up here. And a lot can happen in 30 years of data. Clearly this is what happens here. And there can be many reasons for change. Like we all know China has become one of the just one of the powers of production and they're just a big production country and so they have a very high GDP and they've just developed greatly and then we know Cameroon that they're kind of a third world country so their life expectancy is going to be lower and their GDP and life expectancy have hardly changed over 30 years so they have stayed the same while China has just boomed and those are just pure opposites.